Hey tankers, ever wonder what's the key to success in the game? What's behind those high stats and epic battles? Knowing all the ins and outs of the game? Well, that's important, but having your controls set up right is even more crucial. If your win rate is below 60%, chances are your controls are either not set up correctly or not set up at all. Yeah, it's true. I've seen people playing on their phones without even bothering to check the settings. I recently made a video about optimizing graphics and everything else, but I didn't touch on controls in that one. That requires a whole separate video. So today I'm going to teach you how to shoot right, get comfortable and grab some snacks. We're diving in. Friends, in today's tech-savvy world, it's no secret that for many people, YouTube is the primary source of income. Each of you can start creating videos right now and earn from it. You don't even need a computer because the most crucial aspect of any video is high-quality sound. That's why I want to recommend an excellent service from my friends, my vocal AI. This service uses artificial intelligence and can replicate your voice or any other voice in just a few clicks. All you need to do is record 25 phrases or upload an audio file with any voice and the neural network will create an exact copy. After that, you can use your voice to narrate any text or even listen to how you sing different tracks. And now I beg to see you dance just one more time. Ooh, happy, make me wanna try. And with the promo code SWETCHVOICE23, you'll get a 23% discount. Start earning online with my vocal AI. All the details will be in the description. Let me make sure you understand at least the basics. You should aim to shoot at the gray areas of tanks, not the red ones. Now that you've got the theory down, let's move on to control settings. First and foremost, you need to adjust the camera sensitivity. This is a personal preference, so hop into the training room and start experimenting. Since I play on an iPad mini with a relatively small screen, I set my camera sensitivity to 85%, and it feels comfortable for me. Generally, the smaller the screen, the lower the sensitivity. Here's a pro tip. You should be able to do a full camera turn with three finger swipes. This will give you the ideal sensitivity for successful hits on opponents. But don't rush out of the training room just yet. In addition to the camera, you also need to adjust the joystick sensitivity. I can't give you a specific hack for this one. You just have to set it to whatever feels most comfortable for you. All right, now that the sensitivity is set, let's move on step by step. Set the joystick type to fixed. It's a must as all the others can be quite inconvenient in battle. Next, disable tank auto turn. If it was enabled before, turn it off. When this option is on, your tank will move in the direction you're looking, making it difficult to shoot on the go as the tank turns towards the enemy. Now, for reverse inversion, I recommend turning it off as well. However, if you've been playing with it on and are used to it, you can leave it on. If your win rate is below 70%, make sure to use the auto aim button. Let me explain why. In battles, there are situations where an enemy tank is behind cover and to hit it, you need to target a small opening. If the enemy is maneuvering, you won't be able to hit them with auto aim enabled. By assigning it to a separate button, you can easily turn it off and take a precise shot at the enemy when needed. Moving on to left-handed, this one is straightforward. If you're left-handed and find it more comfortable to play that way, go ahead and select this option. No judgment here. Let's keep going. Make sure to turn off flip consumables. It's a useless feature that will only get in your way. If you're left-handed, enable the left-handed mode. If you're right-handed, using consumables will be very awkward for you, especially on the move. Enabling ammo bar is a good move. It's a handy feature. After changing your ammo type, the menu stays open, saving you unnecessary movements. Now the second fire button is also crucial. Many mistakenly believe it's only for players using three or four fingers, but that's not the case. Even if you play with two fingers, the second button can significantly help you shoot at moving targets. I'll show you a little later. Lastly, lookout area should be turned on. This allows you to look around without turning the turret, but that's not all. I'll show you a trick I'm sure you didn't know. If you aim at an enemy's vulnerable spot and use the free look, you can lock onto the weak point and shoot at it even while moving using the second fire button. This lets you escape from the enemy while still shooting at them or pull off moves like this. If you didn't know about this, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, let's take a look at my button layout. Now you can see my configuration. This is a standard layout for playing with two fingers. I recommend creating something similar for yourself, but the most important thing is that it feels comfortable for you. The best way to do this is to adjust the button placement right in the training room. That way, you can quickly tell if you're not hitting the buttons accurately or if something feels uncomfortable. You can also place the second fire button higher if you want to play with three fingers and use the super sneaky trick with auto aim and free look. And now I'll show you how to correctly shoot at targets in motion. Let's consider two situations. In the first scenario, the enemy is maneuvering back and forth, causing your crosshair to constantly shift. In such a situation, you need to pick the moment when they start moving forward. At that point, aim slightly in front of their turret, and when they start moving, take the shot. In reality, you'll need a bit of practice to get the feel for this moment. 
Now the second scenario, the enemy is moving quickly at a long distance. Here you need to lead your crosshair ahead of the tank and take the shot at that exact moment. This is a bit more challenging than the first situation and once again requires practice. But once you get the hang of feeling the projectile's flight speed and trajectory, you'll be able to consistently hit your target with every shot. And now a few words about control settings on computers. I recommend setting the aiming mode to manual. This allows for more precise aiming at different distances. Additionally, if your mouse has side buttons, you can bind them to the regular and gold ammo. As for he shells, you can assign them to the E key on the keyboard. Now you're trained in proper shooting techniques and can continue on your journey as a skilled player. Our channel has almost reached 10,000 subscribers. Thanks to you, we're close to our second goal. I appreciate that you watch my videos and I hope they are both interesting and helpful for you. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.